Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this gentle yoga practice for beginners or for anyone who just wants to take their practice a little bit slower today. Let's get started in child's pose at the back of our mat, sitting onto our heels, opening our knees slightly, and then reaching forward towards the top of the mat. We're gonna drop our belly down, reach, reach, reach. Maybe we're resting our forehead on the mat. And just start to take a couple breaths in and out as you relax the body, relax the mind. Maybe setting an intention, reminding yourself why you decided to do this practice today. To feel good within the body and to calm the mind. Take another deep breath in, maybe closing your eyes. And a nice, beautiful exhale, either through the nose or releasing through your mouth. Coming up into a tabletop position. So you're on your knees. Your knees are hip width apart, shoulders over your wrists. And we're going to go to some cat cows. So dropping the belly, we're looking up. Take a deep breath in. And then tucking in the chin and then rounding the spine, pushing your hands in towards the mat. We're separating the shoulder blades. Pull the belly button in. And then drop the belly, look up once more. Inhale. And then exhale, tucking the chin in, into your cat. Let your head be heavy. And then back into neutral. Now we're coming into our downward facing dog. So you're gonna flip onto your toes, sink back a bit, and then lifting your hips high, you can have your knees bent to start. Then you're gonna try to straighten out your legs. Keep your feet about hip width apart and a little bend in your elbows. You're gonna try to straighten your knees, your legs, and you could pedal out your heels, lifting one heel and the other. We're gonna take three breaths. Relax your head. You can even sway from side to side if that feels good. We're listening to our body throughout this whole practice. One more inhale. Good, and then bend your knees. You're going to walk your feet towards your hands. So maybe one, two, three, four, five steps, however long it takes for you to get to the top of the mat. And then we're going to come into a forward fold. So grabbing onto your elbows, we're just going to rock from side to side, bending down, give your head a little bit of a shake. Make sure you're bending at the hip creases. If you can't touch the ground, you should have your knees bent just a little bit. Make sure that you're not curving the spine too much. One more deep breath. You feel this in the hamstrings and the hips. Good. Place your hands on towards the mat, bend your knees, and then slowly come up to stand, but one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. And then bring your arms all the way up and reach for the sky. Reach, reach, reach. So our extended mountain pose. Good, and then bring your hands to your side for our mountain pose. Just standing here, just like a mountain, nice and still. Rolling your shoulders back. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, good. Bring your hands to your waist. We're gonna step back into our warrior one. So picking up your right foot and you're gonna step it back, big step. Your foot is going at a 45 degree angle, maybe bringing the left foot out a little bit and then bringing both arms all the way up. Your hips are square and towards the top of the mat, bending the front knee, back leg is straight. Lift up, lift up. Reach for the ceiling, bend a little bit deeper if you can, lifting those arms up. 
Good, and then dropping your hands down, we're gonna bring the back leg to meet the front in a seated position, which is our chair pose. So sitting down deep, just like we're sitting in a chair. Bring your hands to heart center, sit back, sit back. Lifting up, shoulders back. And then dropping your hands down, come into that forward fold one more time. Maybe you're just holding on to your knees here. If you can, just try to have a flat back. And then bend the knees. We're coming up to stand once more, reaching up. Inhale. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Beautiful, switching sides. So have your hands on to your hips as you pick up your right, left foot this time, big step back, warrior one. Pivot the foot to the outside. We should have a nice gap, a nice gap between our, our legs. Lifting both arms up, that's good for balance. And it gives us the ability to have our hips pointed towards the top. Lifting your hands up, bending the front knee, squeezing your legs. Sink a little bit deeper if you can. Lift up. Relaxing your shoulders and then dropping your arms all the way down. Bring that back foot one more time to the top of the mat. Come into your chair once more, but bring your arms out to the side. Sink deep, stick your bum out, but try to keep a flat back. Good, and now we're gonna stand once more. So slowly start to straighten your legs. Reach your hands up, up, up towards the ceiling, and then try to come up onto your tippy toes just for a moment. Play with that balance. We're strengthening our ankles as well. Really helpful with yoga. Good, lower down, and then we're gonna swan dive. Bring your hands all the way down to the mat. Halfway lift, so we're bringing our hands up onto our shins, creating this flat back. Take a breath in and then lower your hands all the way down to the mat. You could bend your knees and we're gonna step back into our plank. One foot and then the other. Hold your high plank. One breath. And then lower your knees, release your toes and then float your body all the way down till your belly hits the mat. Coming up for, for some cobra. So bring your hands to your side, and then you're gonna push your hands in as you lift up. Push your, your legs and your feet in towards the mat. Lift up. And then lower down, just lower down. And lift up once more. We're using our back muscles to lift our upper body. And lower, keep those elbows in. One more time, lift up. Good, and then bring your hands to your side, flip your toes, lift yourself up, bend your knees, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Big inhale, you're doing so good. I know when you're starting out, you're just getting strong and everything feels hard. But if you keep up with it, it just gets so much easier. It becomes so pleasurable. Good. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and do a little hop just about to the center of your mat, sitting down on towards your heels. Bring your hands back and have a seat on your mat. Bring your finger or your feet to the top. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna come into our boat pose. So working a little bit on our core, Bring your hands, put them underneath your knees, and then keep your shins parallel, lifting your legs and toes and feet off of your mat. Lifting up, bring the chest forward. And if you're like, this is easy, I got this, bringing your hands out to the side, lifting up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 
good. Lower down, windshield wiper the knees. So we're just dropping the knees over from one side and then over to the other side. Ooh, this feels really nice. Really good hip opener stretch. Good. Bring your legs out straight and then bring your hands to behind you. Just just a little bit further back. And we're gonna lift up. So we're using a little bit more of our strength here, building strength slowly. Try to lift your hips off the mat. This is our reverse plank. Lift, lift, lift. Good, and lower down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna come into a lying down position. <laughs> One of my favorites, <laughs> lowering down. Lower down one vertebra at a time. Ah, oh, give yourself a nice stretch. Head to toe like somebody's pulling your arms over your, your head and your feet and your toes. Then float your hands all the way down, picking up your left knee in towards your chest, flexing both feet. This is our wind release pose. I'll let you guess why. Pushing the knee in towards the chest. Open up the hips. One breath in. Good, and switch. Right knee goes into the chest, flexing both feet, pulling the right knee in. These final stretches, they feel so good. Give our heart a chance to slow down a little bit and stretch the body. Good, and release. Have your feet find the mat, pushing your hips up. We're coming into a bridge. So just keep your knees parallel, hands on the mat, arms on the mat, lifting your hips as high as they can. You're squeezing the glutes at the same time, getting those tight buns. Lift, 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 squeeze. You're almost done, you've got this. Good, lower down, bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a hug. Yeah, good, now pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. This is our waterfall. You can take your hands, you can put them wherever you'd want. You can put them behind your head if you'd like. Since we're up here doing a little inversion, Let's just maybe cross our feet a couple times, a little bit of strength. Good, and then bring your hands all the way down. Let's lower the legs, let's work on the core. This is our last thing, I promise. Come all the way down. And then into our Shavasana, which is just a moment for our entire body to take it in. A beautiful time communicating to our body the health, the vitality, the light, and the love that we just brought to it. So just take a moment, bring your palms up in receiving mode, feet either side, and just closing your eyes, taking a deep breath in and out. And just take this 30 seconds to yourself, 30 seconds to do nothing, to be nowhere. Just focus on your breath. If you want to stay here longer, please do. You can, you're at home. <laughs> Press the pause button. Bring your arm over your head. If you want to close this practice with me into your fetal position and then rolling yourself up in a crisscross position. 
sitting up nice and tall as we give thanks and gratitude for this beautiful practice that is yoga and all the beautiful things that we have in our life that we are grateful for. Thank you so much for joining me. Please check out my other videos and like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Blessings to you. Namaste.